Oh hey, good morning everybody. It's 6 o'clock in the morning and the sun is slowly rising. Time to get up. Hmm, let's have a nice breakfast to start the day with. Today it's a peanut butter sandwich with a glass of cold milk. And it's going to be a good day because the sun is shining and we're going to learn to tell the time. We use a clock to know what time it is. There are two types of clocks. This one, with the hands, is called an analog clock. And there is another one with only numbers, which is called a digital clock. But in this video, we are going to learn how to read the hours on an analog clock. The clock with the hands. And no, not the kind of hands you've got. Oh look, it is the Funky Kids Owl. This clock has two types of hands. A longer hand, which is called a minute hand and a smaller hand which is called the hour hand this is the shorter hand and let us know what hour it is the numbers at the clock face represent the hours you probably noticed that both hands are spinning in the same direction we call this clockwise now let's see how many hours we can see on the clock face One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The hour hand can point to 12 hours. And then we also have the minute hand, which is the longer hand on the clock. The minute hand points to the minutes, which are all the little squares between the hours. With the minute hand, we can see the time even more precisely. It tells us how many time has passed after the hour. And when the minute hand points to the 12 at the clock face, we call this o'clock. The hour hand tells us what hour we are in. For example like here, we see the minute hand is pointing straight up at the 12. And the smaller hand, the hour hand, is pointing right at 1. So that means it is 1 o'clock. Oh. Did you see the Funky Kids Owl again? And when the minute hand moves clockwise from 12 to 12, one hour has passed. So now it's 2 o'clock. Let's keep practicing. It's 8 o'clock. And another hour has passed. It's now 9 o'clock in the morning. 10 o'clock, a good time for a little healthy snack. We'll have some fruit. How about an apple or banana? Which one do you like? Oh look, the hour hand and the minute hand are both all the way up. They are both pointing to the 12. So that means it must be 12 o'clock now. And 
from 12 o'clock, it's noon. The morning is officially over. Hmm, I've also worked up an appetite from all that practicing. Time for some lunch. Hmm, I'm going to have a strawberry jelly sandwich with a glass of cold milk. So, tell me, what is your favorite thing to eat on your sandwich? You figured out the clock now, haven't you? So, what time would it be here? Yes, 2 o'clock. This is going well. Three o'clock. Time for a drink, a chocolate cookie and some strawberries. It's mid-afternoon and the sun is shining brightly. It's a beautiful day. Can you guess what time it is? Very well! It's 5 o'clock! And what time is this? Yes! It's 6 o'clock! 6 o'clock is the time when the evening begins. You can see the sun is slowly going down. And it's also time for some dinner! Today there is soup with bread on the menu. That's delicious! Mmm, that was so yummy! My tummy is full! The day is over. It's 7 o'clock. But you probably already saw that on the clock, right? It's time to brush teeth. And to put on my pajamas. A little bedtime story and time to sleep. Of course, my favorite cuddly toy, Ruffy the Space Bear, has to come along too. Do you also have a favorite stuffed animal? It was another fun and educational day with Funky Kids. We learned how to tell the time on an analog clock. That's how we know what time it is. And you did so well! Well, I'm going to have a good night's sleep. Thank you for watching and see you next time!